नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज गार्बेज इन एंड गार्बेज आउट यस विद द टर्म गार्बेज यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेस्ट डिस्पोजल द वेस्ट व्हिच इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम आवर हाउस होल्ड्स इट इज टेकन बाय द म्युनिसिपैलिटी ट्रक्स बट देन व्हाट हैपेंस टू दैट वेस्ट एंड हाउ इट शुड बी डेल्ट विद सो दैट दैट वेस्ट इज आल्सो मैनेज्ड प्रॉपर्ली yes waste management waste management is very important because this waste is causing a lot of pollution in our environment so what do you think when we are disposing the waste in our dustbin and it is being taken by the municipality trucks where it is thrown yes it is thrown to the near water bodies or to the low lying land areas which are also called as landfills now there what happens to the waste it is does it is it getting uh, broken down into simpler substances is it getting decomposed can everything get decomposed no when the waste is thrown in the landfills there also the waste segregation is done yes on what basis the waste could be categorized into two parts biodegradable waste or non biodegradable waste here we have two types of waste biodegradable waste are those substances which are obtained from living matter which are organic in nature these type of waste like fruit peels vegetable peels kitchen waste or garden waste these substances which are derived from the living parts they can get decomposed and mixed into the soil so these are called as biodegradable waste non biodegradable waste are those waste which do not get decomposed and mixed in the soil examples could be plastic metals so here we can categorize them in this given slide that biodegradable waste they can exist for a short time they get broken down into natural components they can be recycled non biodegradable waste they cannot be broken down into smaller substances they exist for a longer time in the nature now what to do with these biodegradable substances or non biodegradable substances so let's first talk about biodegradable substances or biodegradable waste how to reuse it how to recycle it yes it can be recycled to form manure or compost which is very rich source of nutrients for the plants it could be done by creating a small pit in your garden area putting the kitchen waste collecting all the vegetable peels kitchen waste or garden waste and then keeping it allowing it to decompose for 1 to 2 months and the final end product the black colored substance which you are going to get is the manure this process it could be enhanced by putting the red worms which are a type of earthworms the compost which is formed as a result by, uh, after adding these worms is called wormy compost yes wormy composting is a process in which we are adding the worms so it it speeds up the process of decomposition provides a nutrient rich end product called wormy compost in the form of worm castings it is a sustainable fertilizer giving more than 10 to 15% more crop yield besides crop improvement now other than biodegradable waste what to do with the non biodegradable waste yes we can do two things either reuse them or recycle reuse is simply using the product again without throwing it in the dustbin instead of throwing everything we could also take out some other measures to use that same product like instead of using regular polythene bags and throwing them out we can instead reuse that same polythene bag or it would be better if you take a cloth bag and and again and again reuse that cloth bag only to go when are you are going to the grocery store or to buy the vegetables so repurpose the items in new and creative ways 
we can make beautiful flower vases pen stands from the uh, glass containers or the glass bottles which we get as from like jam bottle ketchup bottles these can be reused so talking about methods of waste disposal there are three r's what are these reduce reuse and recycle reduce is simply to cut down the usage on those products which are not essential like if i talk of polythene bags we can reduce the usage of polythene bags wherever we can substitute it by using better methods like using a cloth bag a jute bag instead of a plastic bag reuse just now we have discussed using the same thing again next coming to recycling recycling is collecting separating and changing the items into something new like if i talk of metals they can be melted and again reformed into something new product so why should we recycle recycling should be done to save our planet it saves our natural resources like trees and reduce the pollution yes even the paper which we are using is getting recycled so it will cut down on the number of trees we are cutting so it will help to build up more growth of the trees to increase our uh, oxygen concentration of the atmosphere to maintain our environment to maintain our surroundings so as a responsible citizen of this planet it is the duty of each and every one of us to apply these three r's in our daily life and create an awareness around yourself to make our planet a cleaner place to live this much for today thank you